Welcome, welcome, my air signs. This is going to be your love message for the week. And I want to wish you all a very, very happy and merry Valentine's Day. So let's jump right into this reading. I've already pulled some cards. This is going to be a little bit extra long because of um, Valentine's Day. Make it a little special here. I have asked our spirit guides, angels, and ancestors to be here for this reading to help better further our knowledge and guidance during this reading. Um, also, we've asked for love, protection, and guidance as well. So this is specifically for you, the air signs. Um, so let's jump right in. These two cards came flipping right out. And I... I <laughs> I actually saw them because they flipped upright and I was like, oh snap, because there are two suitors for you, okay? This is two suitors. Right off the bat, I saw it and I was like, "The this is two different people trying to gain your affection, gain your attention, gain your um, respect is what Spirit's telling me. So let's pull some cards and find out what else is coming in here. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm going to put it in the middle because this is letting you know with the Eight of Cups that you are going to be walking away from one of them and most likely to make a decision on who to choose. Spirit is asking you not to hold on to a relationship that's no longer serving you. They're asking you to make better decisions uh, at this time and to pick the person that is feeling more, um, what's the word, softer is what they're telling me to say, softer, someone who is able to listen, who's able to be receptive to, to your emotions, and they're bringing in the uh, Knight of Cups. So automatically for me, when I see that, I automatically think they're asking you to be with this water sign person this could be pisces scorpio cancer um but not necessarily this could be uh, a sign that's in their their birth chart as well so don't get too hooked like stuck on that but it's pretty interesting to see that it's cups with cups just throwing it out there also what they're talking about here is the this is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands comes in. And to me, when I see the Page of Wands, I think of someone coming in and kind of like, um, this can be a friend or um, they want me to say friend of me because they're being gossipy. They're talking, about, like trying to help you make your decision about this person. Um, and they may not be giving the best advice, but really what it comes down to is you need to just, take what they say for like a grain of salt and take it as it comes you don't have to act on what your friend tells you you can hear what their thoughts are on the situation but you definitely do not have to take their advice so i think they're here to try to off step you and and even getting the vibes of they may like one of the dudes or females that you're talking to and they kind of want to throw in a little wrench to the party now, with the Emperor here, this is letting you know that you are in control of the situation. You have full control over who you're picking, who you're going to end up with. This is something that is only driven by your bus. Does that make sense? Yeah, all these suitors may be showing up, um, but the only one that can create their own uh, reality is literally you the empress that's crazy that you're getting the the emperor and the empress side by side this is letting you know that you create your situation if you want to choose a different partner now is the time to do that you are able to pick the partner that is best suited for you from the beginning um and i'm gonna pull a card here so i'm gonna put this up here the Knight of, of Pentacles is letting you know that this may be a slower journey, but the person that you do pick is in it for the long haul. They're in it. Um, they're in it to win it. They're ready to start a new, check that out, a new situation with you, a new path with you. 
this is literally guiding you into that new relationship. And, and I feel at ease while talking about this. I feel at ease telling you like, this is a new and exciting venture for you with, with a new partner. This isn't something to be scary, scared about or scary. Um, but this is a long time coming. This is necessary. Uh, it, you're going to feel so much lighter getting out of a, of a whole different situation that no longer serves you and stepping into one that is ready. And I feel like this new person is actually a friend. This person you've known for a long time. This person um, has been there to hear the, excuse my language, but the bullshit that's been happening between you and your current relationship. So they're not, they're, they're like your shoulder that you cry on. This is interesting. So I'm pulling more cards here. The, the 10 of, of wands is letting you know that, yes, of course, this is, this can be a potential breakup and this is telling you to pick your battles but what I'm getting from this really is pick the way you're going to explain or your pick the way you speak okay I know that sounds weird but pick the right words on how you feel and how you want to express why you're choosing what you're choosing and and the reasons behind that that way you're able to cut everything clean cut and dry and move on into the future look how he's looking at the at the world he's looking into his future and okay so let's jump into these other cards here first one is marriage this relationship is moving towards a sacred union regret someone feels remorse for the way they've treated you now how freaky is that oh i'm sorry you can't see it how freaky is that because we're literally talking about two different suitors, two different partners. One feels really bad on how they've treated you. And the next one is looking like it's headed towards union. Yes, this is really early. I mean, you're not even together with this new suitor. And if you are, you may already be feeling those butterflies of how did I miss you? How did we? It's just at the right time. It's not even about how I missed you because if they're friends with you already, this is like, a union that needed to happen this way. You needed to know each other as friends before. It, it, it's almost the vibe of you needed to see everything that that other person was going through. And then you guys vibe in that way. It's almost like a deeper connection for you guys. Very exciting. And look at that. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Going back to your love life. This is a love reading. And you for your new partner, that is incredible. I am very excited. I, I I can't believe it. So this is for the twin flames only. Okay, you guys, before I start, not everyone is a twin flame. You may have a soulmate that is completely different. Right now, we're talking about your love life for the week for the air signs. And for the air signs that know that they have a twin flame, this is for you specifically. So this whole reading goes for you. And this is a bonus card for the twin flame, okay? I just want to make that clear because this card is not for everyone. This says, time is fluid. I'm at ease with what is at what is as everything always works out for me. So this is the perfect manifestation card. And this is actually pretty shocking to me because usually twin flames are having it out. And what I think is really happening is that your your real twin flame is your friend. The friend that's, that's actually working with you as that shoulder to cry on um, with your current partner that is no longer lighting you up and actually giving you the love you deserve. And that gives me the freaking chills because you're learning your your twin flame lessons together at the same time, being able and ready for you guys. Um, you guys are able and ready to come together as friends and now as something more by learning these lessons by by one of your relationships. That is freaking cool. I love that. I am very excited for you guys. If this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. Um, 
There's so many little facets to this reading. This may not be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. If you need a private private reading, please reach out to me. I'm going to put a description uh, link down below and just check that out. Let me know. And I just hope you have a lovely, lovely week, you guys. Thank you.